Today, I'm gonna to show you how to transfer a video editing project from one computer to another using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look. So let's say you're working on a project and you've gotten a pretty good amount done, but you wanna finish it up on another computer. Maybe you got a new computer in the middle of this project and it's a better computer and you want to finish it up on there. Or maybe you were traveling and you started your edit on your travel laptop, but your main rig at home is better with graphics and processing and all that stuff. So you wanna transfer it over. Now this is super easy to do in DaVinci Resolve Studio because you have things like project sharing, but it's a little bit more complicated in the the free version of DaVinci Resolve, but not by much. So we're gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Exporting a project in DaVinci Resolve is pretty simple. You just open up your project manager, which is the first window that opens up when you start DaVinci Resolve. You're gonna find the project that you wanna export. You're gonna right click and you're gonna hit export. From there, you're going to choose your file path. Maybe you wanna save this thing on an external hard drive or maybe a folder on your desktop, whatever it is, just go ahead and send it over there and hit save and you're done. Now, if you're working with an external hard drive, then all you have to do is plug that hard drive into your home computer and you can start the import process right away. But if you save this thing directly to your computer because maybe you don't have an external hard drive, then I would suggest using Google Drive or Dropbox, upload the project file to there. And that way, when you get back to your home computer, you can download the file and start the import process that way. Once your project file is on your computer, it's time to start the import process and that's really easy. Just go back into your project manager, right click anywhere and hit import project, find your project and import it. Now, when you open up your project, your timeline will be there and everything will be there and all the spaces where the clip should be will be there, but all of your media will probably be offline. You need to make sure that you have all of your footage on your home computer so that you can relink all the media and doing that is really easy. You just select all the clips that are in your project, right click, hit relink clips, and then find the folder that your clips are stored in and go ahead and relink them. Being able to transfer projects between one computer and another is really gonna improve your workflow. Now, if you wanna find out some more workflow hacks, I made a video for you. You can check that out right here. And if you found this useful and you want more videos about how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.